Hey guys, Anthony here with Fanatics. Just want to do a little video. It's been a while since I released anything, but uh, here's a look at my 150. And um, I've added a couple things, sold a couple things. Uh, trying to make room. I got my eye on a couple pieces I want to get. I'm going to be attending my first Macna up in New Orleans, which is about a seven hour drive from where I'm at right now in South Texas. So uh, me and the wife are going to be taking a little vacation up there for about a week and uh, should be fun. No kids and uh, yeah, so I'm looking forward to that for sure. Um, here's a look at the tank right here. I got, this is a new addition right here. It's the uh, open brain. I got my euphilia garden right here with some frog spawn, some hammers. I got this nice uh, toxic splatter hammer, which is pretty cool looking. Some octo spawn, uh, some micro mooses up there, some random um, pallies and zoas right there. You can see on that rock. There's my uh, Monty cap, my Lobo, Hollywood stunner, which grows like crazy. Uh, this really nice chalice. I'm not sure what it's called, but it's uh, encrusting pretty good on that plug there. It's almost reaching the edge. So I'm pretty excited about that one. Here's some uh, pallies, some mushrooms. Uh, I found a bunch of sponges under here, actually. I sold my uh, rainbow anemone, and I had to move this big rock because it was attached to the bottom of it. This whole rock right here is covered in yellow sponges. I have some uh, stock-looking sponges that are white on the back back there. That's pretty cool. Uh, I think they're pretty cool. I'm just going to leave them alone. I mean, it's a, it's a natural filtration, and... Uh, they don't bother me, so uh, here's some more Zoas. I just put these in last week. It's a Singulera and a little toadstool. And then we got this other brain, which is really cool looking. Love the color on him. Here's another chalice. But yeah, Tank's doing good. Uh, I'm still dosing uh, my Red Sea Nopox. It's been going on for several months now, and uh, good results. I have it dialed in, I think so. Um, I dose 10 mls per day um every now and then i'll skip a day just because i forget but for the most part it's been pretty steady my my uh, nitrates have been at 5 ppm 5 to 7 which is uh a big difference compared to the 50 plus i was running before this and uh i dose every wednesday i dose um by ccam i think it's aqua vitro fuel which is amino acids, fatty acids, and a bunch of other stuff in there. So I've been dosing that still. Uh, Fish-wise, that guy right there is my newest addition. He's a Christmas wrasse, pretty decent size. Really pretty fish. Other than that, all my fish are doing good, healthy, eating good. Still got the same stock in here, my tangs. That guy is a new addition as well, the bluehead wrasse. world beauty so and my uh, sump it's uh, a little louder now because I'm missing a filter sock you can see right there had to wash some my skimmers out so I'm cleaning it as well it was filthy my refugium is doing really good uh, full of calerpa feather calerpa that feather calerpa just took over this whole area right here so I have I turn it about once a month maybe once every month and a half I take out a good chunk of it, and uh, so I'm sure that's helping out with the uh, nutrient export as well. Then it comes over here to my return section, but yeah, tank's doing good. Like I said, I got my eye on some uh, pieces up in Magna. Um, I did have a holy grail torch right here that uh, I fragged down to three or four heads and sold them for about 60 bucks a piece. So it wasn't too bad, which is a good deal compared to what they're selling online for. I'm hoping to get a fully gold Aussie uh, torch, uh, maybe some nice chalices, and uh, I mean, who knows? I might see something completely different over there that I want to, I must have, and uh, bring it home. That's going to be a big mistake, but uh, we'll see how that goes. I just fed my fish some Minori, so they tore it up. There's a nasal, magnificent. And the tank's doing good. I'm pretty excited about it. You know, by me dosing the uh, the nopox daily, it, it makes me, uh, you know, it pushes me to pay attention more to the tank and see how it's reacting, how the corals are doing, which I really like. You know, I thought about getting a doser and have it do it automatically, but 
I'm kind of digging this um, this method of doing it. So uh, stay tuned. I'm gonna take some pictures. Maybe I'll get some video of Macna when I'm up there, and uh, talk to you guys later.